people know the name Popcorn Sutton, a uh, renowned moonshiner, bootlegger. How did the two of you get together? I was formally introduced to her maybe three or four years ago. I had met her prior to that. She was frustrated because of her husband's legacy that you know, it was, here's this guy who, who really is um, a legendary mm -hmm. person. You know, he, he is he is a legendary moonshiner. And there's so many different brands out there making money and capitalizing on moonshine. And, and I, I think that I think it probably hurt her to to see that this legacy was was just kind of be lost. She is now a friend and, and so we're excited to, to help her really get that off the ground. And he always called his spirit liquor and uh, spelled L I K K E R. And uh, and so we have uh, uh, We've honored that. That's that's what it's called, liquor, and it's the, the unaged product that he made his moonshine or liquor. There's also an aged product that is a, a very good bourbon, and I have never received one of these. But there are people who have told me around Christmas that Popcorn would give away a jar of or a bottle of uh, Christmas whiskey, and this Christmas whiskey was his whiskey that he had made and aged and, and uh, was uh, described as being the best whiskey anybody had ever had. And I have tasted some and I got to, to taste some as, as we were, uh, Pam gave me some and, and allowed me to, um, to take it and recreate the brand around that. So, uh, so the bourbon that's sold in the, the popcorn soda, under the popcorn soda brand is, it is his Christmas whiskey. It's our, it, it is, it is the best that could be done to, to replicate that.